everyone, and welcome to Pwn to Own Miami for 2020. This is our first year of the event, and we've brought the world's most elite hacking contest to the ICS and SCADA community. We're here at the S4 conference in the Fillmore, here in Miami Beach, Florida. We've seen some amazing research. Let's go take a look. Our day began with the Insight team of Steven Seeley and Chris Anastasio targeting the Triangle Microworks SCADA data gateway. They were able to get a DOS through a stack-based buffer overflow. They earned themselves $5,000 and five points towards Master of Pwn. Next up, the Clarity Research crew used a deserialization bug to cause a denial of service in the Iconics Genesis 64. This also earned them $5,000 and five points towards Master of Pwn. The Insight team of Steven Seeley and Chris Anastasio returned, this time attempting a remote code execution against the Rockwell Automation Factory Talk View SE. They were able to get their code execution to work, however, this was only a partial win because the bug had been previously reported. Fabius Artrell made his debut in Pondone, also targeting the Rockwell Automation Factory Talk View SE. He was also able to demonstrate code execution, however, again, it was a partial win as the bug had been previously reported. While these partial wins don't count as full wins, they are great research, and we hope to see more from both in the future. Tobias Sharnowski, Nicholas Breitfield, and Ali Abbasi were the next to target the Rockwell Automation Factory Talk View SE. They were able to get their code execution working, and it was a full win. They used an out-of-bounds access to gain code execution. This earned them $25,000 and 25 points towards Master of Pwn. The flashback team of Pedro Ribeiro and Radek Domanski targeted the Iconics Genesis 64 in the control server category. They were able to use two bugs to get a system level remote shell on the target server. This earned them $25,000 and 25 points towards Master of Pwn. Tobias returned, this time targeting the Iconics Genesis 64. He earned himself another win by using an OOB access bug to get code execution. This earned them another $25,000 and 25 more points towards Master of Pwn. That brings their day one total to $50,000 and 50 points in Master of Pwn. Our final entry of the day saw the flashback team of Pedro and Roddick return, this time targeting the inductive automation ignition in the control server category. They used an information leak and an unsafe deserialization bug to get code execution on the product. Their final effort for day one earns them another $25,000 and 25 more Master of Pwn points. Day one wraps up with us awarding $110,000 for eight bugs and more than 75 points towards Master of Pwn. We saw some great research today and tomorrow looks like it's gonna be even better.